All right, I'm looking at another don't wordle today. Now this is like wordle, except you're trying to fail. You're trying not to solve the wordle and you have to reuse the clues you get and that's about all you need to know. So a lot of people suggested that I should start with Zillil, which is definitely a good start. Last time I did the Kruth, which doesn't really use vowels. Zillil um, kind of doesn't as well. It uses the Y as a vowel. Kruth uses a W as a vowel, but uh, this seems like a decent start as long as we don't get a Y or an L. Okay, good, good. So, uh, you know, you can undo. So you could try Zillil and if you get, uh, you know, like two L's or something, you could undo it and try something else. So I'm gonna go with Kruth next and hope that, ooh, okay. So we got an R. Now we have to use that R, which is the unfortunate thing. You'll notice how quickly it goes down in the number of possible words here. So we need to use the R, but I think repeating letters is good and not using up all your, because every guess has to have a vowel. So in some ways, it's kind of like crosswordle that way where we need to save our vowels so we can guess other things. I feel like PR isn't too bad. I'm trying to think of something where I can repeat some letters. We could do something like gruff, that at least doubles up the F, and the U is probably, you know, the worst vowel to use. Let's try that. Ooh, okay. So now we have to use the G and the R. Now we can undo. Um, I'm gonna try and do it without undoing. Um, feel like we're quickly getting into trouble here. We could do grass. That repeats the S at, li at least. Let's try it. Hopefully that's not the right answer. Okay, good, it's not the right answer. We went from 52 to 20 though. We've got only 20 words left. Hmm, let's see. We could do something with a double O maybe, like groom. Seems as good as anything, let's try it. Hopefully it's not right. No, oh, okay, woo. All right, so we got G-R-O. <sighs> There's four words left. We just, we've got a 75% chance of failing here. And by failing, I mean succeeding. We have a 25% chance of succeeding and therefore failing. It's not confusing at all, right? Uh, I mean, it could be, uh, it could be a lot of things. Um, so we can't do another O, G-R-O. I mean, it could be grope, it could be grove. Groin. That's three of the four. What's the other one? See if I can come up with all four letters. Groin, or all four words. Groin, grope, grove. Yeah, I don't know what the other word would be. Um, so I gotta just guess one of those three. I don't know. I mean, they're all equally likely, obviously, so. Let's do groin. Did we fail? Did we fail? Oh, no! We succeeded, which means we failed. We accidentally wordled. All right, well, you guys always like to say that my luck is too good when I have the 50-50s. Well, it even works apparently when I don't want to succeed. Um, oh well. Well, we were really close, so there you go. That was today's don't wordle. I succeeded, and therefore I failed. Oh, and I almost forgot, some people commented last time that once you've finished, you can actually click on these numbers over here and it'll give you the list of words. So, groan. Oh, N-E? I don't know what that word is. I know groan with an A-N, but I don't know groan with an N-E. Interesting. So that's what the other one was. I had groin, grope, and grove, but not groan. All right, well, let me know how you did with this don't wordle and if you managed to not wordle. And be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles.